There are seven incredible tricks with potatoes that almost nobody knows but everyone should know. In this video I'll show you what they are and how they can help you. Trick number one can save us a lot of time. All you have to do is prepare a potato with a knife before you cook it. Just cut a line through the outer layer once around the outside as you can see here with me. You only need to cut through the outer skin, not the whole potato. And you don't need to cut that deep. Do this with all the potatoes you want to cook. Now you can cook them as normal. That's all you need to do with the potato first. And if you have finished cooking them now, you have a huge time advantage. Because thanks to this cut you can peel them much faster. Just put them in cold water for a few seconds. Then take them out again and hold them firmly with your fingers on both sides and simply pull them apart. As you can see in my case, you can remove the peel completely with your fingers in just a few seconds. And don't worry, the few seconds in the cold water won't make the potatoes cold. They are still hot and you can eat them straight away, but without having to peel them first. For our second ingenious potato trick you should rub a potato over your car in a very specific place. I'm talking about the wing mirror. But first you have to cut the potato open, because we want to rub the cut surface of the potato over our mirror. This has two huge advantages. Because as you can see now, when I rub it over the mirror, all the dirt is removed. Even heavily uncrusted dirt or fly dirt is completely removed when we rub the potato over it. Incidentally, if you don't want to waste the whole potato, you can simply use the skin of the potato if you have peeled it. In this case, you should also rub the inside over the mirror. You may only need a few more small pieces of peel for this. And what we have also achieved now is that we have created a beading effect with the thin layer of potato that we have now applied to the mirror. It's not greasy, it's completely clear, but if water drips onto it, it will run straight down and won't stick to the mirror. This will give you a clearer view through your mirror for much longer. For our next trick we also need a small amount of salt in addition to the potato. To do this you should cut the potato open again and press the cut surface into the salt. You can use this to completely clean pots or stainless steel pans that have burned from the bottom because something has spilled over. And it's really super easy to do, as you can see now. As I said, cut the potato open once and put a small amount of salt on the cut surface. It is best to dip them in the salt several times. Once a sufficient amount of salt has adhered to the potato, you can use it in your pot or pan. Now simply start rubbing this amount over the pot from below. Press down hard and rub back and forth. You will see that after a short time, the first burnt areas will come off completely. You can also add a little salt from time to time if you need more. This way you don't have to use too much force and can quickly see the results and remove all the burnt areas from your pan. Finally wipe off any residue. Rinse the pot again and it will be clean and shiny again. Incidentally, you can also rub your windscreen with the potato as well as your car mirror. This also has two really enormous advantages. To do this you should cut open another potato and wipe the cut surface over the windscreen. Because it is important that we spread the liquid that we find in the potato over our entire slice. Incidentally, if you want to make the whole thing even more efficient, you can also cut the potato into several pieces as this will prevent it from drying out so quickly. Or what you can also do, of course, is use potato skin for this. If you have peeled potatoes anyway, don't throw the peel away, just use it for this trick. Of course you will have to change the potato peel more often, so that you keep spreading some of this liquid on your windshield. But what exactly is the point of doing this and why should you do it? By rubbing the potato over your windshield, we spread the liquid sugar contained in the potato over the entire windshield. This means that water can no longer stick and simply flows off. This is practically helpful in winter if you don't want your windshield to freeze. Because if the water can't stick here in the first place, you won't have any ice on the windscreen the next morning. As with the side mirror, you can also remove all dirt from the windscreen. This also completely removes uncrusted fly muck or other dirt. And if you already have potatoes, you can also start by rubbing them through your sink. This also has a huge advantage, especially if it is a stainless steel sink. 
thanks to the stock contained in a potato we can clean it and remove even stubborn lime scale stains. All you need is a sliced potato or of course just the skin if you don't want to waste the potato yourself. This means that you should definitely keep the skin if you have prepared potatoes. Now simply take the cut surface of the potato or the skin and rub it all over the sink. You will see that lime scale stains and other stains are removed wonderfully. Once you've done this, grab a damp cloth and wipe over again to remove all the potato residue. The star has now done the rest and everything should be clean again and is really shiny. Of course, this doesn't just work on your stainless steel sink. You can also use it to polish stainless steel pots, pans or for example a stainless steel kettle to a high shine. And the potato can even help you on the shower door. I'll show you how now, because you're probably familiar with this picture too. You have a lot of lime scale stains on your shower door and you actually have to clean or remove them to prevent lime scale build up. But you can't actually prevent this with the help of a potato. Unfortunately, you have to completely clean the shower door first so that there is no more lime scale on it, because only then can this trick work at all. Once you have cleaned your shower door, Grab a potato and rub the cut surface over your entire shower door. You can of course use potato peelings here too, as the ingredients in the potato peel work just as well as those in the whole potato. Of course you have to use the cut surface and change the potato peelings more often, but this way you can use them instead of just throwing them away. Once you have rubbed it all over your shower, you should just rinse it off again at the end. Now wipe it off. This will make the shower door clear again and thanks to the potato you have now sealed it. This means that if you now go over it with water, as you can see here, none of the water will stick to the shower door and it will all run off completely. This means that lime scale stains can no longer occur in future and you always have a clean shower and have to clean it much less often. By the way, did you know that you can also use potatoes in your plants? However, you shouldn't just throw them into your plants as you can see here. We want to do something a little different with them. Here too, the idea is that you don't just throw the potato peelings in the bin after you've peeled the potatoes, but can use them for this trick. So collect a lot of potato peelings. Once you have them, you should put them in a container. I'm going to use a small jar like this one and put them in it. Of course, you can also use a larger jar if you have more potato peelings to spare. If you have them in the jar, you will also need water. You should now pour enough water into the jar so that all the potato peelings sink under the water. This is important because in the next step we want to let everything soak well. The best place to do this is in your fridge. Leave it in here for at least a week. When you take it out, you should pass everything through a sieve again because we only need this golden liquid. Because in the potato skin we find many important nutrients that are good for our plants. So you can fertilize your plants every fortnight with this potato water and don't have to buy expensive fertilizer. By the way, did you know that you should tip this powder into your washing machine every 4 weeks? You can find out what it's all about in the video by clicking on the image in this video.